A lot of people still firmly believe that nuclear energy is the true answer to the world's energy needs. I'm not convinced. However, small portable nuclear reactors do sound like they could be a much better option than big nuclear power plants. And they could power up to 1,000 households per nuclear reactor. Here's how they work and here's how much they actually cost. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans and I'm the Electric Viking. Welcome to the new subscribers, all nearly 10,000 of you over the past month. Welcome back, everyone else. One of the great things about these small portable nuclear reactors, they only need refueling once in every five years. So you just need to find like a local Homer Simpson who's willing to refuel it and dispose of the nuclear waste. Now, I'm joking, of course, but I'm kind of curious as to know who would be willing to do that job. Anyway, Doug Bernauer joined SpaceX as an avionics engineer in 2007, when the company's Falcon 9 rocket had, had not been successfully launched even once. 2007, I mean, that was a long time ago, right? 15 years ago, 16 years ago nearly. After working at SpaceX, he then worked on the Hyperloop, the boring company, and even refueling Starship on Mars before he realized the true potential of nuclear power. In 2019, he set up a company called Radiant Industries that is working to build melt-proof portable nuclear generators that can be packed in a shipping container. With the world looking for ways to decarbonize, reduce its carbon emissions as quickly as possible, nuclear energy is poised to make a comeback. At least that's what some experts believe. Recently, Interesting Engineering reported how China currently has 24 nuclear power plants under construction. 24. That's a lot. They're set to become the world's leader in terms of energy produced by nuclear energy within the next 18 months. While China's nuclear power plants use conventional old school nuclear technology, Radiant Industries is building smaller nuclear reactors that could be deployed even in the remotest locations on the planet and cater to energy needs, whether for military or civilian purposes. So how does a small portable nuclear reactor work? The company's plan for making its portable power plant is to make a smaller nuclear reactor capable of generating one megawatt of energy sufficient to power around 1,000 homes. At the core of the technology are TRISO particles, or T-R-I-S-O particles, which are the fuel for the reactor. Composed of uranium, oxygen, and carbon, these particles are covered with ceramic and carbon materials and are no larger than a poppy seed. In other words, they're very, very small. The particles can then be put together as a sphere or large cylinder, depending on the reactor design. An important feature of the fuel is its high melting temperature, which makes the reactor itself meltdown proof. Meltdown proof is a big claim. I don't know if this is true, but if it is, it is a game changer in that sense, isn't it? Because the biggest fear we have right now with nuclear reactors is that they can have a Fukushima or Chernobyl-like disaster. That's the biggest problem with them, probably, or that and the cost. And this company claims it has basically solved both of those two obstacles. In the tests conducted so far, Radiant has taken TRISO particles to temperatures up to 3,000 Fahrenheit or 1,648 degrees Celsius and has not seen any concerning damage. Now, I don't know who was willing to stand within a close location of that testing, but clearly someone did. This is higher than the temperature most nuclear reactors will ever reach. The company has also used helium in its reactor design to act as a coolant to facilitate passive heat removal. This is another mechanism put in place to prevent a meltdown in case the reactor suddenly shuts down. Under a federal program, Radiant has been working with Idaho National Laboratory and the Argonne National Laboratory to use their expertise into improving the product and trying to make it commercially viable. Since the TRIZO particles need to be refueled once every five years, the reactor can be deployed at remote locations, which have not been connected to the grid and might be dependent on fossil fuels for their energy needs. Now, right now, it, it will be competing with mining sites 
which actually already have the ability to deploy renewable energy. So there's quite a number of mining, remote mining locations all around the world now, which are not connected to grids. They simply install solar panels and wind turbines and large batteries. So they're actually enabled to run themselves completely using renewable energy. The question is, would these mining locations be a good place for one of these portable nuclear reactors? Potentially. For now, the company just intends to focus on the engineering of the reactor and seek regulatory approval for its design and technology. And that is a challenge. Getting regulatory approval to have these just located in neighborhoods randomly is a big issue. Now, here's one of the problems. When you build a nuclear power plant, the base, the size of land that you take up is much bigger than you realize because no one wants to live within a 10 kilometer, even a 20 kilometer radius of a nuclear power plant. There's the perspective that, well, if something goes wrong, I don't want to get fried, right? And that makes sense. So who is willing? Are people actually willing to have one of these generators, these small nuclear power plants in their suburb, which is basically what this company is proposing? I'm not sure they are. I mean, realistically, they probably are extremely safe, but you would have to change the public's thinking on the safety of nuclear reactors. So that would be a big learning curve. Could this work in remote locations though? Absolutely. In a remote location, there might be a heap of land that you don't need, that you're not using. Could be the desert, could be an ice cap, could be anywhere in the world. That's the kind of place where I think these reactors would work. Not so much in cities or residential areas where you'd have to contend with possibly having millions of citizens who could be affected if one of these things went wrong. The price. Well, unfortunately, we don't really know the price yet, but the company says it will be pr price competitive with renewable energy. Not sure what that means exactly, but personally, I don't see this concept of small nuclear portable reactors working. This is not the only company working on this type of product. There's other companies doing the same thing. Now, let me know what you think though. Do you think they'd work? Do you think they're a good idea? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.